out of all the natural supplements, or I should say substances, let's use that word instead, that are out there, these five probably made the greatest impact in studies. Now keep in mind, some of these studies in regard to animal models and uh, helping with uh, reversing age-related muscle loss. Some of them are human as well. But however though, the results of these five in particular are well studied, published in multiple journals. When I mean scientific journal, I'm talking like some of my favorite from the American Academy of Sciences like Eureka Alert or Science Daily. I'm not talking your favorite fitness magazine or website. Actual journal, journal publications with DUI citations. So basically, these five have the outcome of helping with muscle and strength. And unfortunately, as well, most of the research that's out there is dedicated towards age-related muscle loss. It does not mean these do not work well in regard to a fitness scenario, per se. But however though, the focus currently, due to an aging population, is muscle loss and those that are older. With that in mind, I'm gonna go through these really fast. I wanna get it all done under 10 minutes. And here we go, the top five as follows. Vitamin E, nicotinamide, riposide, leucine. Vitamin D3, ernocelic acid, all citations are there below. And let us begin with the first study. How vitamin E keeps muscle healthy. Prelude, bodybuilders have it right. Vitamin E does help build strong muscles and scientists appear to have figured out one important way it does. Vitamin E has long been known as a powerful antioxidant and now scientists have shown that without it, the plasma membrane, which essentially keeps the cell from spilling its contents and controls what moves in and out, cannot properly heal. For example, exercise causes the muscle cell powerhouse, the mitochondria, to burn a lot more oxygen than normal and so produce free, more free radicals while the physical force tears the membrane. In some areas I'm going to speak a little fast and then I'll slow down as we get to the more pertinent part. Vitamin E enables adequate plasma membrane repair despite the oxidant challenge, helping keep the situation in check. Researchers findings that the vitamin E is essential to rapid cell membrane repair and ultimately cell survival likely holds up across different cell types because in a culture at least, when the scientists have treated a number of different cell types with vitamin E, they documented similar enhanced cell membrane repair. The major medical significance here is yet to be uncovered. The researcher stated, but one day can mean not just supplements to aid sluggish membrane repair and disease such as muscular dystrophy, but preventative therapy for high risk individuals such as astronauts or soldiers. Vitamin E, extremely important for muscle repair and recovery. Number two, and we're not going in any particular order. These just happen to be the five grouped together. Not one is more important than the other per se. Helper molecule reverses degeneration, a muscle in mouse model of tissue aging wasting. This is nicotinamide herbicide. Maintaining proper levels of the essential helper molecule is crucial for optimal muscle, muscle function. Some athletes are already taking supplements to increase synthesis of this compound called NAD. With the hopes of reversing the natural decay associated with the aging in the mitochondria of the mitochondria of the cell's powerhouses. However, this is the first study to directly investigate the consequences of NAD deficiency on muscle function. The discovery. The team next sought to test whether a dietary NAD precursor might remedy the muscle pathology in mice, animal study. The muscle decline was completely reversed. I'll repeat. The muscle decline was completely reversed by feeding the mice a form of B3 called nicotinamide herbicide obtained from the natural product company. I'll let you read that on their own. At first, we were surprised by how rapidly nicotinamide herbicide was able to reactivate Dormant mitochondria and muscles, despite being largely consumed by other cell types, it appears that a relatively small enhancement in muscle NAD can have profound functional consequences in this setting in regard to reversing aged muscle loss. Supplement number, th or I should say substance number three. Substance number three, turns out protein quality matters when it comes to building muscle. This highlights leucine. Dr. Phillips reviewed the current science to examine the effects of the quality of supplemental protein on changes in muscle mass, strength, and body composition when combined with strength training. His comprehensive inquiry suggests that based on a new proposed method to evaluate protein quality using its indispensable or essential amino acid composition and its digestibility protein sources that provide leucine, in this case in regard to whey protein, are the strongest determinant of muscle protein synthesis and likely muscle growth. To repeat, the strongest determinant of muscle protein synthesis and likely muscle growth, i.e. leucine. 
by the researchers. Assessment of the data on protein supplementation and resistance exercise reveals that the amount of leucine in a protein supplement has the greatest impact on protein synthesis, said Dr. Phillips. Leucine is not only a building block for protein, but a trigger for working muscles to synthesize more protein. In essence, it turns on muscle protein synthesis like a switch so that over time there could be greater gains in lean body mass and strength and subsequently body composition movements. So leucine, supplement number four, keep in mind we're really not going over dosages per se. I have the citations listed there, so if you need to research more on your own, then you can do that. This is just bringing your attention to these powerful substances. Number, powerful substances actually publish your bias, but it fits. Vitamin D3 supplementation helps women build muscle even after menopause. This is an amazing increase. Ready? Here we go. At the end of the trial, with nine months trial, the women receiving supplements demonstrated a significant increase in muscle strength. You read that right. 25.3% increase in muscle strength after nine months. While those receiving the placebo actually lost an average of 6.8% of muscle mass, Women now receiving vitamin D supplements are also nearly two times as likely to fall per se. Citation obviously is there, but I want to read from the citation in this particular case. But again, all the links are there for you to go on your own. They received 1,000 IUs daily of D3 in the study for nine months to receive that 25.3% increase in muscle strength. And last but least for now, we'll do more of these later on uh, throughout the year. Age muscle was generated to a youthful state by certain food compounds. This has two compounds in it, ursolic acid and tomatidine. Tomatidine is really friggin' super expensive right now. So ursolic acid, which often found on the skin of green apples, we're gonna highlight instead, or I should say preferably highlight. Not instead, just that it's more accessible and a lot less expensive. To move forward, keeping older muscle strong, ursolic, and uh, ursolic acid and tomatidine in two months I might as well just highlight the results first. Increased muscle mass, 10% uh, increase in muscle mass and 30% increase in strength, even more than the D3. But maybe they work better in combination. I don't know. That's a confounding statement from me. But to proceed, scientists at the University of Iowa have discovered the first example of protein that causes muscle weakness and loss during age. Remember, most of the studies done are age-related cause uh, conditions. The protein ATF4 is a transcription factor that alters gene expression and skeletal muscle causing a reduction in muscle protein synthesis strength and mass. The UI study also identified two natural compounds, one extremely expensive, one some not, one found in apples and the other found in green tomatoes, which reduce ATF4 activity in age skeletal muscles. These findings were published on online September 3rd in the biological chemistry could lead to new therapies for age-related muscle weakness and atrophy. The highlight. Elderly mice with age-related muscle weakness and atrophy or fed diets lacking or containing either 0.2% ursulic acid or a half percent tomatidine, probably because it's super expensive, for two months. The scientists found that both compounds increased muscle mass by 10% and more importantly, increased muscle quality or strength by 30%. The size of these effects suggests that the compounds largely restored muscle mass, mass and strength to young adult levels. That's just an incredible, incredible beneficial result. So those were our top five, I should say slightly obscure substances that really do aid in protein, I should say muscle synthesis, muscle gain, muscle strength, however you want to word it, even though most of the studies were done in regard to muscle loss due to age-related decline. Incorporating my own bias in there is a confounding factor. However, though, they hold incredible amount of promise per se. So, to recap, vitamin E, nicotinamide riboside, leucine, vitamin D3, and ursolic acid. Again, I hope you find this information of use. In the future, we'll do some on weight loss, endurance, and so on and so forth. For now, though, this is a pretty good start. Again, we're off to our channel signing off. Look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. And keep in mind, this is only a small portion of what I personally found amazing results in the past few years. You may have different opinions. Uh, in regard to what is important to you, per se, research-wise. Raptor Channel, signing off. See you all again in seven days. And thank you very much for listening. And I hope you find this information of use, as always. Catch you then. Bye.